Hey, what's up guys? Uh, in this video, I'm going to be talking about relieving burden off of your dominant hand. It sounds like a rather specific thing, but I you know, think it's very useful and interesting, so hopefully it'll be helpful. So the idea here is um, I'm taking it as a given that, say, you're a right-hander, you'd be doing a lot of things with your right hand, you know, moving, moving a lot of faces and doing a lot of turns uh, with your right hand, and the idea is to delegate some of the work that you normally do with your right hand to your left hand so that you don't have to do so much work with your dominant hand, hence the relieve the burden uh, idea. So I'm going to be talking about two finger tricks to kind of, you know, get the load off of your right hand. Um, the first one is lefty U2, like this, and the second one is uh, index pull like this. This is similar to uh, the one-handed technique used in the uh, Japanese turning style. So um, two techniques, and both of these um, delegate moves you would normally do with your right hand to your left hand so that you can even out the workload and not do too much stuff with your right hand. Um, for some people it's not so much an issue but for some other people when I watch them solve I really feel like they're overexerting their right hand and could really benefit if they gave some work to the left hand because um, most of the time your left hand's not doing that much so it'd be nice if you could uh, get your left hand more involved so that you know, you're not so stressed out or overwhelmed with making moves with your right hand. So that's pretty much the idea. I'm going to be doing this tutorial um, from the perspective of a right-hander because that's what I am and that's what's convenient for me. Um, for those of you that are naturally left-handed cubers, um, the, the lefty U2 I would talk about will be a righty U2. I'm not very good at this. Um, the lefty U2 is my default U2, but if you're a lefty, it'll be like this. And the, uh, the finger pull will be like this. So uh, just mirror whatever I do, and uh, you'll be able to, you know, see the same thing as right-handers do. Uh, if you have any questions about that, uh, also don't, you know, hesitate to ask me. But that's the gist of the video. These are just two ways to um, get your left hand more involved. So uh, let's get started, and let's take a look at Lefty U2. All right, so this segment will be about lefty U2. Remember, if you're a lefty, it'll be about righty U2, which I can't do at all um, because I was taught to do lefty U2 as default um, as a beginner. Um, but I, I think it definitely has its merits, especially if you can do righty U2. That gives you so much flexibility, it's not even funny. So um, yeah, definitely if you're still interested in learning finger tricks, lefty U2, uh, big recommendation. Um, because if you're doing two gen, um, you know, something R and U, which is the dream move group for uh, a right-hander because it's like, you know, the sides that play to your strength. Um, you, you want your left hand to do more stuff. Right now, if you were to do two gen, you can imagine your left hand being responsible for U prime. And that's about it, right? Because U2 would be done with your right hand, which again, I'm terrible at. Um, U will be done with your right hand and R and R prime and R2 will be done with your right hand. And I just feel like that's really imbalanced. You know, you have all these different turns. Why not give your left hand a little bit m more to do, right? So uh, th that's why I believe that lefty U2 is, uh, definitely has a lot of merit because you can really take the stress off your right hand if you delegate uh, U2 to your other hand. The left hand feels um, really lonely when I, um, you know, it looks really lonely when people do 2-gen because they're only using it for one turn where they can use it for other stuff. So, um, yeah, definitely in two gen sequences, in the long run, I think lefty U2 uh, is very strong because it gives you more of a balance. Um, so, uh, let's try some algorithms that will kind of show this. So, uh, so this is the uh, R perm, and uh, these two switch, and these two switch. And so, this one begins with R prime U2, R U2. So, um, I'm going to try to do it right-handed. I'm not good. Awkward. Um, I don't actually know how people do this without their left hand, but it's so easy with your left hand. You know, you just do that. So R prime U2, R U2. No regrip. So um, this whole algorithm looks like that. And uh, I feel like it's much more balanced. And if you were to just do everything with your right hand, it'd just be totally stressful in the beginning. Um, and also this R perm right here, um, which people normally do RUD, I believe. You can also do this. 
It has, I think, three left U2s in it, but if you can do it, totally viable R perm. And also this OLL, um, it's called Pi, uh, lefty U2. Yeah. So I, I think definitely it has its merits. You can incorporate this in uh, F2L um, to kind of take a load off your right hand. And also you can incorporate into algorithms and uh, it'll make the algorithms flow. Sometimes you can use it to avoid regrips. And um, sometimes people can be open to new algorithms. The deal with uh, being open to algorithms is that you can only do an algorithm if your set of techniques supports it. So if the algorithm has a funny turn and you can't physically do it, then you probably won't use the algorithm. So the more things you can do physically, the um, more algorithms you can consider. And obviously the more choices you have, the more freedom and you know the better options are there. So uh, not saying you always find a better option if, you're, if you know this, but definitely they're out there and they exist. And uh, I found many of them already. So um, yeah, I think Lefty U2 is a really nice thing to know. All right, so this is the weird one, um, doing you like this. It's actually not weird from a one-handed perspective because that's an actual legitimate way to do uh, you if you're doing one-handed. It's called uh, Japanese style, or it's part of the Japanese style, and it's flick-based as uh, opposed to push-based like this. Can't even do this right um, because I don't do it. So I do the you like this. And um, you can actually port it over directly to two-handed solving, and it's, it's pretty good. Um, I first started doing it for two-handed because I just thought it'd be funny. You know, it'd be... It'd, look really weird and people would be like, what the heck is this guy doing kind of thing. But then I quickly realized that there was actual practical value to this. It just wasn't funny. It was useful. So I decided to take it more seriously and, you know, thought about where I should fit this and where I should not. Speaking of where you shouldn't do it, please don't do it for every opportunity you get a U. It's ridiculous because you can't do this consecutively very quickly. Um, I don't think any anyone can really do this consecutively very quickly. If they can, they should immediately start doing one-handed. But in any case, um, it, it's not good for consecutive use. Um, but it could be good if you have a long string of moves and you want to substitute a U move with your left hand so that your right hand doesn't have to work too hard. Um, this is an example right here. This is your typical soon algorithm. Um, it's very normal. And if you were to do it with your right hand, you would have to do this U with a regrip kind of like that. But what you can do is you can do the second U uh, with uh, a lefty move like this, and you can incorporate the uh, lefty U2 in it also for the U2. So uh, my way of doing a soon would look like this. So it's uh, very quick because you involve both your hands to do something. Um, rather than one. Uh, of course there are other ways to do the U. I've seen people push like this or something. Um, I don't think that's very effective personally, um, though it can get really fast for uh, other people. I personally don't use it. Um, but I mean that's just another way to kind of move out of the traditional way to do things and to make yourself more comfortable. My way is um, to, to make yourself more comfortable is to use the left hand when you can do it more. And so that's why I do the soon like that. And uh, this move also works for um, the F perm. You can see I did that in the F perm. This is the F perm, obviously it's based on the T perm. So, and the T perm is very busy. And this is the point where I do my turn. My right hand's down here and can't really do a U. So I do that to finish it. Um, lastly, in terms of the ALG department, you can also do it for uh, U-perms. So like this counterclockwise U-perm, you can do this. And uh, normally your right hand would do the U, so in the time your left hand does it, you can regrip, so it buys some time for the regrip. And you can also do it for the other U-perm. Uh, this is a uh, clockwise U-perm, and you can do the U like this. Like that, and it, uh, it's pretty handy. 
so remember to uh, the, the main idea is to not make your right hand do every single thing because that's not fun. Um, so definitely start using your left hand to relieve the stress. Um, last thing you can do with this is you can do um, AUFs. So you can do this to AUF, and you can also AUF the other way. So if this other U perm uh, counterclockwise, like that. And it can, the AUF can be done really quickly, and it's just another way to finish the solve. Uh, if your uh, right hand is not in a position to do a U, sometimes the algorithm will, you know, pull you out of position to finish the uh, to finish the solve. So you can use your left hand to finish up the solve. So in short, you can use this in algorithms. You can definitely use it in pairing sequences. Um, pretty much any stream of R and U move where you have a lot of U's and you just want to stick one lefty U in. Very useful, uh, highly recommend it. And of course, if you already do one-handed and you already use this technique, which is actually quite probable because this is one of the more popular ways to do U uh, one-handed, you probably already know this and it probably won't take long to incorporate it into your solving, but I highly suggest it um, for certain algorithms. Uh, of course, you can find your own applications to this. Just remember, to pick and choose which spot to do it in so you don't look silly or feel silly because you um, do the sequence slowly. So remember not to do it consecutively. But that's pretty much the gist of uh, this finger trick. It's to just give more work to your left hand so your dominant hand um, doesn't have to do too much stuff because that can uh, be overwhelming at times. So uh, this pretty much wraps up the video. Um, there's just two ways to relieve stress off of your dominant hand. Um, there are definitely other ways, um, but I think these two ways are the most practical because um, the lefty U2 is the same technique as the righty U2, um, so it's very digestible, and the, um, the lefty U is a one-handed technique that's already very popular, so both of these methods of um, moving the U layer with your left hand are already out there, so it's not like some like crazy trick that no one's ever seen before, so in that sense I feel it's very digestible. And uh, it's very easy to kind of see and accept as legitimate. So uh, definitely if you feel stressed out or if you're still learning technique, I highly recommend it. Because remember, the more technique you know, the more options you have with algorithms. Sometimes if you don't have a wide enough set of technique, you can't do an algorithm that other people with you know, the set of technique could do. And uh, you don't want to be missing out. So I uh, would for sure consider this if you uh, have the time to work it in. So uh, I hope this video was useful. Um, it's the first finger trick video I made, so if you have any suggestions or if you want me to talk about other stuff, uh, feel free to let me know through comment message or you know however you want to reach me online and I'll be happy to respond. So uh, thanks for watching, see you in the next video.